Squad, turn that shit up, man. In my feelings, but it's for Kiki. Smoking out the crib is looking like a T. So hey everyone, welcome to the Wacky Foreigner Show, fifth, sixth episode actually, wow! With Avni, Isabella Heimbaugh, aka Avi. Not to be confused with a Jewish guy, because apparently there are Jewish guys running around with the name Avi, and that's so confusing. Well, A, I'm not Jewish, and two, yours truly is definitely a girl, so I'm not a guy. Now that we have that out of the way, because I had to set the record straight, um, today has been a pretty chill day. We've been quite busy, I have to say, and then I came home and I snoozed away and I'm like all fresh again, so it's going to be really twisted. So today has been a chill day. My husband, uh, he entered his car at the Mid-Atlantic Miata Expo 2019 near our home. So he, like, because he didn't pre-register, he had to pay $20 to be able to register his car so, to see if he would win any trophy or goodies and stuff like that. I was quite a skeptic when I first heard of it because I'm like, well, you're paying $20 just to show your car off to strangers. <laughs> so he was trying to explain this to me and it just wasn't sinking. I'm like, so why don't you just give me $20 and I, I'll admire your car. You know, I'll, I'll take your car to a parking lot and I'll have a bunch of people stand around it and, you know, say, oh, what a nice car. Ooh, ah, that's, you can give me my $20. So he was like, no, because he, he wanted the goodies and the trophy. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go to Dollar Tree. I make a trophy up and that didn't work out so uh, all jokes aside I'm really glad we went it was cool uh, we got to you know see so many different kinds of cars at the Miata Expo like different models different years like a lot of them lined up next to each other I got to see a really cool orange color car and I also got to see like uh, a really cool like car that had like really like really modded out from the inside like they did this kind of like, not stickers, I don't know exactly know what kind of artwork that is, but it was really cool. And uh, the people who were organizing it today, we've kind of run into them before. So I got to see them again and it was really nice, uh, you know, getting to meet them and just to chat and say hi and hello to some of the old people. Plus we got to find out where we can go take our car for races if we want to go around the track just as amateur. So that was pretty chill. So anyways, let me share some of the pictures from today and I'm going to share my screen as soon as I can pull up the pictures. So uh, I'm going to share my screen with you guys and I'll put myself in some little corner somewhere like this may be better. So here it is and I will, whoa, it didn't go. Wow, where did you go? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where did it go? I thought I had this under control. I don't. Okay, there we go. Here's me. This is my husband and me. Look at my handsome husband. People see this. That's mine. <laughs> we were in the Outer Banks. That's where we took the picture. I love the Outer Banks. Really nice vacation. So let's start with this picture and I'll do a slideshow. Can I do a slideshow? Okay. I'm learning all the tricks of the trade. Here we go. That's the orange car I was telling you about. Really cool. This is all the people lining up their cars. Next slide, again, people lining up their cars and showing it. A lot of them take them actually to the racetrack. This one's really cool. I liked it, green color. Kind of like vintage look. This one was pretty chill, turquoise. I like my, that's one of my favorite colors. See how cool it is on the inside. And hold up. That's me and my handsome hubby. Again, that's all mine. <laughs> See, this one was really cool, the one I was telling you guys about the, with the artwork on the inside. Really delicious food from the restaurant right next to it. Again, another really cool themed car. I think that's an Eddie. This one I really loved because it has a little toy in it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we did. We got to walk around, get to meet people, you know, just have like nice socialization time, I guess. We got to see a lot of puppies. Some of them looked like they didn't want to be there. But, uh, we didn't really win a trophy. Oh, it was a really pretty car. A lot of people were looking at our car, but it didn't win a trophy or a prize or anything. But we got this like really cool Miata Expo goodie bag. So let's see what's inside it. There is this little sticky thing I guess you can put on your car. It says Mid-Atlantic Expo. I won't be using that. Uh, this says... Moss Miata. I have no clue what that is. This is kind of cool. It's like a 
key chain thingy. It says Mid Mid Atlantic Miata Expo. I really like this pink theme, by the way. So I got to talk to the girl, like who did this. Oh, this is nice. I didn't even look at this. I have no idea what it is, but it's cool. Pens can never get enough of these because they run away. I really like the pink theme. All the trophies were pink. The girl who who is primarily responsible for this, her name is Ivy. Really cool girl. Like she owns two hair, you know, I guess salons and stuff. Very beautiful girl. I was like, wow, really young girl, very talented, very organized, very business minded. That's kind of cool. It's nice to see young people who are so focused in their life and they're doing good things out there, achieving big dreams. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, overall, it was really nice. I can't wait to go to another, like we used to go to car meets. I guess maybe it's time to start doing it again. Because not only do we get to show off our car, we get to see other people's cars and socialize with other people. And maybe next time we'll take our puppy. So that's pretty much how my day went today. Just wanted to share it with people online. So uh, I'm going to go to my screen, people. Here we go. So I'm going to pull up the internet. So please, guys, I really, really need you guys to be super awesome. So go to YouTube, type in Wacky Foreigner Show. So this is my Wacky Foreigner Show page. I will be changing pictures, by the way. So I'm looking into, like, cosplay costume for, like, superhero stuff because like I don't know it's just like doing silly things so I'm like I have this like idea of what I want my picture to really look like and I'll maybe let's see what happens I won't tell you what that costume is going to be like like well kind of give you a hint it's a superhero costume so we'll see how this goes I don't know maybe it'll take me a while to get it together <coughs> because now I have to go costume hunting so please go to this page hit the subscribe button when you are logged into your YouTube account, like I'm not signed in. If you are signed into your account, you'll see this button here to subscribe and there should be like a bell right next to it. So you guys don't have to hit the bell if you don't want your phone blowing up with notifications because I seem to crank out a lot of material lately. Most of the stuff here is rants and raves against the medical practice, exposing corruption, even within the addiction recovery community. Uh, this one was pretty cool. The Mark Cuban episode. So he's like the Dallas Mavericks brother, Mr. You know, advocate, sharing his stories for recovery. He even got certified for peer recovery specialist thing. And the way he acted, it was pretty funny. So, I mean, if you have patience to watch, like, dang, I make like long ass videos. Gotta learn how to make them short because I have short attention span myself, just like you guys. So anyways, it was pretty cool because I got to share the screenshots and the way he behaved would show like I don't know if I want to work with this dude. Haven't gotten an apology from him at all. You know, everybody's been silent despite seeing what's been going on, which is all good. I don't really care. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching tonight's episode. Subscribe, share, show love, monetize my platform. And I will bring you guys the next episode. Who knows what it's going to be about? Maybe I'll even show my singing puppy on it. Bye. Let's go out, turn that shit off, man. In my feelings, but it's fuck Kiki. Smoking out the crib is looking like a TP. Love forever to my brother, free CC. She pop a Zanny, now she says she feeling sleepy. Took a double dose and wide to the walls. To the walls. She got a boyfriend, but stop me on my drawers. On my drawers. In here with my lungs and tied up on my chest. On my chest. I remember calling my dad Uncle A. Uncle A. Now I'm out the jail and I'm in hella guala. Hella guala. Leaning off the door like I was a koala. A koala. Walking to the trap like that shit was a bang. Was a bang. Called a clean up crew after we hit a stain. Hit a stain. Chrome the whole whip, I don't need any pain. Any pain. Why they all surprised when I say that I bang? Bang it slack. Water on me, I belong in. Inside a tank, a piranha. We're gauging, we smoking on some fucking dank. Yeah, the ganja. Fucking money falling out of my pockets, ayy. Load her up, now I'm walking with a wobble, ayy. Rico says she wanna do the nasty for me, babe. Fuck the tea, cause your girl's the one talking to me. <laughs> Boy, yeah, I know how this look, ayy. I fuck a girl, leaving both of you shook. Frozen cold. Trust me, I'm classy by the book, yeah. One combo is all that it took. This ain't a diss, let me add her name to my list. Hey. Lost your girl, now I'm saying tiss, tiss, tiss. Okay. Jealous of the violet on my wrist, wrist, wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Skipping off content with the shit. Hmm. Kim Possible.